So here's review A for basic Photoshop concepts, just uh, reminding you of a few things that you should have learned in our first unit. Uh, first off, let's look at the names of the tabs of these open items that I have in Photoshop. It is important that we remember that we need to match color modes. So what I have here is a corkboard background using an RGB color mode. And then I have this wonderful bitmoji of myself clapping. Notice that it is in index color mode. So if I pull this down to use it and take my move tool, by the way, you can also just press the letter V. So say I'm on this tool and I press V, then all of a sudden my move tool is active. So that is a shortcut. Anyway, if I try to pull this girl over here, um, it's just not having it. And that is because the color modes don't match. And you can tell because on an index color mode, the background reads index instead of, like it does on this, background. So in order to get those to match, as you should be familiar, we must change the color mode to match. That's done under the image menu, and then mode, and then choose the color mode, and typically it's going to be RGB color. Now once I've done that, it will match. For this particular one, I'm going to crop this. You'll recall the crop tool is located over here. The shortcut key for the crop tool is C. If you notice in parentheses next to the name of the tool, that's the shortcut key. So if I go ahead and click on that, I can then crop. And then you may either press enter or double click right here in the middle somewhere or press the check mark to accept the change. Then at this point I can drag it over. But one of the things that we talked about in class is making sure that things are both at 100% when you move them. So you have a good idea of exactly the size they are. So if I pull this over here, it's going to be exactly this size, which may or may not be good. If I want it to be smaller, I might want to resize it first. That's under image and image size. And then I'm going to size this down to about half the size roughly. I'm going to say 175 pixels and say OK. There we go. Now let's go ahead and drag that over with the move tool. As you will remember, we don't need to save these, so I won't save that. And then once this comes in, you want to double click the layer name to rename it and press enter. We also talked about how to get transform handles. To get transform handles, you're going to press control and the letter T. That gives you handles all the way around the edges. You can point just outside the edges to rotate. And as you'll recall, there is a circle in the middle. That's the rotation point. If you accidentally move that, it's not a big deal but it does change how your picture rotates. So typically you want to keep that in the middle. Again, to accept the transformation, either press a check mark, press enter on your keyboard, or double click. So there's our first one. Some of the other things that we talked about in the beginning of our basics unit included giving us some additional space. Let's say I wanted this bulletin board to have a border around it. In order to do that, we're going to have to enlarge the canvas that this sits on. So to change the canvas size, you go to Image and Canvas Size. We're not resizing the cork board. It's going to say exactly the same size. But we are resizing the invisible thing it sits on top of. When you do this, you have to decide where is the current part going to go. And in this case, I want it to go in the middle. Then you have to decide what color do you want to go around it. In this case, I'm just going to choose a black from in here in the crack. And then you have to decide how much you want to add. Now, if I want to add to both the top and the bottom and the left and the right, I need to add the exact same amount to every side. So if I'm going to add 50 pixels, then I would just change this from 512 to 562 on both sides. And then press OK. And there we go. Now I have a little border. So this is the first video on talking about Photoshop Basics.